Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to discuss the thumbnail bar. Now the thumbnail bar is something that's been around for quite some time with Teleport Me's virtual tours. However, with the new update, you can now completely customize your thumbnail bar. Pretty exciting, right? I agree, because you can do some really cool stuff with this and it really can elevate your virtual tour significantly. So, let's get started. In order to enable your thumbnail bar customization, you simply click on the tab up here that says add. And then you select thumbnail bar and click on the plus sign. Now this will also put it into your added blocks tab right here, as you can see. It's right in here. And anything that you add from your add tab will be in this window here. So now the next thing you'll see over here is going to be thumbnail bar UI, thumbnails, and colors. That's it. That's all you're seeing currently. Now this is all the, where all the customization is available. So let's start with a thumbnail bar UI. And once I click that, you can see that there is quite a bit of customization going on here. And the first one is position. This allows you to literally move this thumbnail bar all around your virtual tour. Pretty much anywhere. The, the options are endless of where you want to put it because you can actually move it around with the margin and everything like that. And you can put it in so many different places. It's really, really cool. So for this tutorial, I am actually going to move the thumbnail bar from the bottom center to the right center, just like that. Now, being that I moved it over to the right-hand side of the screen, we're not going to want this to be horizontal. It just doesn't look right, and it blocks a lot of the view. So right here under Orientation, you can drop that down and select Vertical. There we go. Looks much better, right? I agree. And... We can sit there and we can change this up from being fixed to non-fixed. Currently, I have it set to fixed. And the reason for that is, I'll show you, I have a lot of panos in this virtual tour. And I don't want them taking up the entire side of the screen. Or the entire bottom of the screen or the top of the screen or wherever it is that you have the orientation and the position of your thumbnail bar. So I'm going to make it fixed and I'm going to change the size, you can completely customize how many of your thumbnails is visible at a given time. So if you only want three of them to be viewed, there you go, you can do that. Or you can go all the way to almost a full screen. Me personally, I kind of like to keep just four of them there. That's my personal preference. I think it looks better. It takes up the least amount of room with giving the most information. Enable toggle. Now, the toggle is this little feature right here. And what the toggle does is it allows for a user to actually remove the thumbnail bar, hide it in a sense, so that they don't see it because it might be blocking a view or they just don't like it. Who knows? But it allows for them to customize that themselves and get rid of it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple on that one. Open on start. Pretty much what that does is if you have that enabled, your thumbnail bar will be there as soon as the virtual tour starts. If you don't want it to open up on start and you want the user to have to open the thumbnail bar themselves, you can simply deselect that. And what that will do is it'll hide the thumbnail bar until they actually hit the toggle switch. Separate. The separate option pretty much separates, as you see here, separates your thumbnails. Now, since I separated it, it actually created a little bit of space between them and it removed the background color. And because I want to have four of them on there, I can simply adjust the fixed size. And there we go. I have four of them there now. Arrows. Arrows will actually remove the navigation error arrows for your thumbnail bar. If you have a lot of thumbnails in there, I kind of probably suggest using the arrows, but hey, it's your virtual tour. You customize this out any way you wish. And that's the beauty of this new update. And show title. 
title will actually get rid of all the titles on your on your thumbnails here and just show just the image itself with each title you can customize out the size of the font and the size of the spacing of the font area so like if I want this to be a little bit bigger I can simply go just like that and then I can actually increase the height as you can see pretty neat huh I agree so I'm gonna put that back down to 12 because I don't like that big of a font I like to see more of the actual thumbnail than font but again you can completely customize this any way you like now here you can actually center each of your titles or you can put it to the right hand side you can italicize bolden and underline pretty slick now here we can go through and we can actually choose all these different little fonts so if you have a specific font that you like or you have a font that your customer requires and they have part of like the branding or whatnot you can have it right into here now down here is where we can actually get into the nit and gritty of the sizing and really customizing how this looks like for instance right here we can go a little bit wider and we go a little bit taller so now with margins margins allow for you to adjust just how far away from the edge and from the bottom and top so you can kind of move it over and up and down now when you come over here and you use this margin slider right here it's going to kind of send it down at an angle as you see here it's kind of interesting how that works now i don't want it to go that direction so it's pretty simple you click right here on the settings little icon and then i can simply move it up or down and then i can move it left or right as you can see right there so you can bring it off a little bit from the side and you can move it all the way down or up or wherever you want to put it just like that now once you're done with these settings here with changing these you got to make sure you hit the double check mark there we go now it's saved okay so image margin image margin is actually going to do this right here I'll show you and just like with margin you come over here and you can click on this right here and we can separate out a little bit more And we could put a little bit of uh, the background completely around it nice rounded off give it a very nice look there we are I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit there we are all right we're gonna save that now border radius if you look right up in here you can change up the radius of your background or border and again you can come right in here and you can customize each corner if you like image border width so if you notice right here around each image is a white border now I can change the width of that if I want it to be a little bit thicker if I want it to be a little bit thinner image border radius let me bring this out a little bit here to give you a better example 
and I can completely change the radius on that. And I really love radiuses. Radiuses just, they're a little add-on feature that just makes something look a little bit better. Just, just a little bit. And that little bit sometimes can really make a big difference on the quality of a virtual tour. It really can. Because it looks more elegant, it looks more refined, and it just it's just it's more appealing to the eye, at least mine. So that covers pretty much customizing out your thumbnail bar UI. Next, I'm gonna go into some features with the thumbnails and in the colors.